I'm Dave Cathy, the Food Dude, here at the Oklahoman Studios. Got a big thing to talk about here today, thirst for a cause. Got Allie Day, we've got Axe Kroblin, we've got Kurt Fleischfresser. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for having us. So, thirst, let's get right into this. How many years has this been going on? This is the ninth year for Thirst for a Cause. Wow. All right, tell us about it. It's a, it's a great cause. It is. So, uh, the, the purpose of the event is to raise money for the Oklahoma Hospitality Foundation, which is a 501c3 that, um, in its larger role, raises, raises money for scholarships for people in the hospitality industry. This event specifically raises money for people in the hospitality industry who have some sort of uh, catastrophic medical need that, that causes them not to be able to work for some period of time, mm -hmm. or they build up medical bills. And you know, a lot of the servers and people who work in kitchens and in the restaurants and clubs in Oklahoma don't have health insurance. Mm -hmm. And so this is meant to help supplement them when they need it. Yeah, it's super cause. Yeah. Healthcare's obviously been in the news a lot, lots to figure out there. Yeah. But it's it's cool to see one of the you know hospi hospitality industry kind of taking care of its own here. Definitely. So Ali, tell me about this event. What what can people expect when they uh, come out to thirst? Uh, you can expect great wine, um, amazing food from local restaurants, and uh, some great auction items provided by um, some supporters. So it's a great event. Let's, let's talk about just how many wines do we have for this deal? So this year we have over 50 wineries. It's the, the biggest year we've had so far. It just kind of seems to grow and grow every year. And so there, there, there are over 50 wineries, and these are actually people from the wineries who come here or the importers who bring the wines in from wherever they are in the world. So it's not just uh, us pouring them, you actually get to talk to the yeah. people who make the wines and who come from the wineries. Uh, 50 wineries, 200 wines, 200 plus wines, I can't remember the count. Um, <laughs> You're still sampling your way through. Yeah, them. yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're test I, them all. I, let's put it like this, there's plenty. <laughs> there's enough. Well, and you know, you, you just, there was rolls out of your, off your tongue, just like, oh, no big deal, 200 wineries. Yeah. But these are not wineries from, you know, Lexington. These no. are these are people from all over the country, right? And yeah. International, actually. Yeah. International, yeah. We've got yeah. we've got um, a Greek importer coming in from Greece to uh, showcase his portfolio. We have a producer coming in from the south of France to show his wines, introduce them for the first time. We have um, obviously lots of producers coming in from California, Oregon, Washington State, and from Italy. Australia. Austra we've got a yeah, we've got a winemaker it's coming amazing. in from Australia. It's amazing. So it it's really become I think known as as one of the better events like of its kind in the region. Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine. So Kurt, you know, you're the, you're the the man when it comes to food. T tell us about you know what kind of foods people can expect out here. Oh, I mean everything. Everybody kind of knows some somebody there, and they kind of mm -hmm. get posted by whoever wine winemakers they know, and they kind of do the wine, the, the food that's going to go with the wine it is, or the style of the wine and everything. So it, it, I mean it's a, it'll be good, well paired food. Let's put it that well way. Paired. So will it all be decided the night before the event? As uh, usual? Usually the day of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you never ask a menu for something like yeah. this because it's whatever's all... left over. You know, it's, it's a premium event. We want just the best leftovers, fresh out of the. I know you'll be posted up uh, very early and and uh, well into the evening to. If I haven't been uh, voted off the island early, I'll be there. Yes, I will. <laughs> but, all right. Well, you know, I think the most important thing here is how do people get to do, you know get to attend this thing. Uh, great, Ed, great question. They can go to thirstforacause.com mm -hmm. and click on the ticket link, or they can go to okrestaurants.com and click on the ticket link, or they can call 942-WINE, 942-9463, and they can purchase tickets over the phone. Uh, tickets are $75 in advance or $89 at the door, and I think for what we've already <laughs> talked about with yeah. over 200 wines and 10 <laughs> local restaurants and all that, it's a, an amazing deal. Plus we yeah, do right, the wine pull, the, live, the silent auction, like Ali said, um, there, there are, there's a lot, a lot yeah. in this. This is a super, super high value event. We know it's a Wednesday. We know it's not uh -huh. the, day, the day everyone goes out to drink wine. Uh -huh. But I always say there's no, n nothing you can do that's more fun on a Wednesday night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, and you know, and, and actually, too, and I think it's important to point out. I mean, we've actually saved people's lives. I mean, kidney mm -hmm. transplants and, and everything from yeah, making sure people can. Carry, continue a normal life to mm -hmm. actually living. So paying it's, their, it's, paying it's their a bills. very, paying very their big deal. Yeah, and I was going to ask you, you know, one last thing. Um, so say somebody can't show up for the event, but they hear about what you're talking about, what a great cause this is. Is there a way for them to donate without? Can they just buy tickets or is there? They, they can. They can go on and buy the tickets and, and donate them to yeah. someone or, or just not use them at all, I suppose. I mean, mm -hmm. we, we certainly like to have uh, as many people are there as we can because it makes the event more fun. So I would recommend if they if that's what they want to do, then mm -hmm. call and donate them, and we'll make sure that they go to someone. But um, you can call the number or go to 
thirstforacause.com and uh, buy the tickets. Use them however you like. All right. And, and we, you know what we haven't talked about at all is when is this thing? Ah, good call. Yes. So, <laughs> Details. It, it, it's Wednesday, August 16th. Uh, yes. It's 630 to 9, and it's at the Jim Thorpe Museum or Oklahoma Sports yes. Hall of Fame at 4040 North Lincoln. The same place that it's been for the last seven years, I think. Mm -hmm. and, um, it's a so, unique Neat. Yeah, it's, know, great, it's, it's, yeah, great, it's great, great for this. Yeah, it's Beautiful venue. And I should mention that the Petroleum Club is very nice to donate the venue for our event. And um, uh, plenty of parking. It's all free. And yeah, it's, it, it's, it's too we easy. we recommend you, taking an Uber. Uh, that's yes. Right. <laughs> Good yes. point. We do recommend Uber. Uber Absolutely. Or Lyft, if you prefer. Yeah. Uber, Lyft, no matter what it is, August 16th is the date. Jim Thorpe's the place. And Thirst for a Cause is the event. Be there. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks. Thanks for having us.